Unit 9, Lessons 5 to 6. Occupation. F. Pair work. Write the questions or answers in your exercise book. Ask and answer the questions. Examples. What does a dressmaker do? A dressmaker makes dresses. He or she sells fruit. What does a fruit seller do? Question 1. What does a film actor do? A film actor acts in a movie. 2. What does a bus driver do? A bus driver drives bus. 3. She writes stories or poems. Here the question should be, What does an authorist do? 4. He grows crops. The question would be, what does a farmer do? 5. He bakes bread. The question would be, What does a baker do? G. Group work. Write the other occupations you know in your exercise book. Students, let's brainstorm some different types of jobs or occupation we see around us. You know, like doctors, teachers, nurses, shopkeepers, rickshaw pullers, and more. What other occupations can you think of? Let's explore the various roles people have in our community and write it down. H. Write a composition about someone you know by answering the following questions. Dear students, let's answer the question first. Number one, what is the person's name? Her name is Nice Pervin. What does he or she do? Nice Pervin is a teacher. Where does he or she work? She works at Kishnapur Government Primary School, where we go to learn every day. What time does he or she start work? Nice Pervin starts her work very early, around 3.30 in the morning. Does he or she like his or her job? Why or why not? Yes, Nice Pervin really loves her job. She likes to help us learn new things and see us understand them, which makes her happy. What do you think about his or her job? I think Nice Pervin's job is super cool. She is kind and patient and she makes learning fun for all of us. I'm glad we have her as our teacher. Now, if you just rearrange the answers of these questions, you will get a complete short composition like this. We can name the short composition My Amazing Teacher Nice Parfum. Nice Parfum is my teacher at Kishnapur Government Primary School. She starts work early in the morning around 3.30. I think she loves her job because she is always happy and patient with us. She helps us learn new things every day and makes it fun too. I'm so lucky to have her as my teacher. She is the best.
Dear students, make sure you write your composition all by yourself. But don't worry, you can definitely take a look at the example to get some inspiration for your own composition. Unit 9, Lessons 7 to 8, Occupations. Language Focus 1. Capital letter, full stop, and question mark. We use capital letter at the beginning of every sentence. For names of people, places, days, and months. We use a full stop at the end of a sentence that tells something, gives a comment, makes a statement. We use a question mark at the end of a sentence that asks for information. F. Correct the sentences. Rewrite them correctly using Cursive handwriting. Dear students, cursive handwriting means you have to write in a way that the letters, letters are joined together. Here's an example. This is Shami. So let's correct the next one. Number one. Who is your favorite film actor? The fault in this sentence lies in the capitalization and punctuation. We know in English sentences typically begin with a capital letter. Also there should be a question mark at the end to indicate that the sentence is interrogative. So corrected version of this sentence would be who is your favorite film actor? What is your favorite color? Here the false are same. So the corrected version of the sentence would be What is your favorite color? Like the sentence before. Number three Today is Monday. The false in the sentence lies in the capitalization of today and Monday. In English, the names of days of the week should always be capitalized. Therefore, the corrected version of the sentence would be Today is Monday. Number four. Would you lend me a pencil? Since the sentence is interrogative, it should be and with a question mark to indicate that the question that this is a question therefore the corrected version of the sentence would be would you lend me a pencil with the addition of the question mark at the end number five i get up 10 o'clock on fridays the fault in the sentence lies in the capitalization of the pronoun i and the name of the day, Friday. In English, the pronoun I should always be capitalized, regardless of its position in a sentence. And the names of days of week should be capitalized. Therefore, the corrected version of the sentence would be, I get up at 10 o'clock on Fridays. Number six. We don't have school in July. The pronoun we should be capitalized at the beginning of the sentence. In English, the names of months should always be capitalized. Therefore, the corrected version of the sentence would be We don't have a school in July. Pair work. Read the composition that your partner wrote in activity H, check for correct use of capital letters and full stops.